Hello, and welcome to my video. This video this week is our re-edit video of a picture which actually I took today with um, my Instagram account. So what this was, it was for my photo a day, and the topic was something small. So I decided to try and do a tilt-shift effect. The tilt-shift effect normally makes things look slightly miniature, like they're part of a miniature world. This was done, shown really well on CSI in the series where they had the miniature killer, and they had this sort of effect running through uh, the cityscape scenes. And the same actually with the BBC series Sherlock. They use a similar effect on the opening credits when you see the London Eye. Um, so let's get on to editing. So this was the original image that I posted on Instagram. Um, it looks okay. It looks a lot better on the phone. <laughs> um, so now we'll have to see what actually um, I can do. So here is the original. Um, the first thing I'm going to quickly do is adjust the levels. Um, it looks sort of a bit flat in a way. Um, I don't want to be too hard on the levels, but again, then again, I do want the image to be quite. Uh, I don't want it to be too dark as well. So it's sort of a fine line. I know I just probably blown that out completely. But it's an adjustment, so maybe I can get it back later. Actually, I can probably get it back now. So let's just paint that back in. There we go. It's not that much of a massive deal. Okay, and I'm actually going to duplicate this layer. And one of the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go filter and lens correction. So in here, I'm just going to adjust my perspective a little bit. I didn't quite like the original perspective, I probably didn't have the camera quite right in my hand to put the levels. These things straight, I'm going to use this as my straight line. It's probably not that straight actually. Okay, and that looks pretty good I think. Um, maybe the only other thing I will probably do is maybe lift the front a little bit, not too much. Scale back so I can actually see everything I've got. Okay, and we'll go back into Photoshop. So there we are. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to crop um, I want to crop a square uh, I've got it in a square because that's the way Instagram images are and I'm actually going to crop down like that a little bit probably like that let me just click okay so now we have this image. So if you want to go all about look now, um, I much prefer the tone of this image. Oh, it's not as a slightly darker image, uh, but I do prefer it. So I'm just going to duplicate this. I'm going to call this one blur. I'm going to call this one lens correction. This is just so I know what I'm doing. And this time I'm going to go fil filter and tilt shift. Now in here, what you can do, um, it's actually, you can select the areas that you would want uh, in focus and the areas you don't want in focus. So actually this, and you can see just by moving these slides, so everything in here is gonna, is gonna, is gonna be, uh, stay, stay the same as it was. And we're just using this bit here to change the gradient of these blurs. So actually, I want a little bit of a lead in there, but this blur here, I actually want quite hard. And I'll probably move it down just to get the effect I really want uh, coming, coming in. But here, it can be pulled back a bit. Now you control the amount of blur you have. Probably not OTT. Okay. You can have the blur affecting the highlights. Let's play around that a little bit. And the color as well. Okay. And okay. First thing I'm gonna do is take this and I'm gonna just duplicate this layer and put it overlay. The reason for this is I want to have this sort of very dark, sort of saturated bit here, but I also want don't want that in the middle bit. So I've just duplicated it, 
put it on a mask, paint this out. I'll just do now. Okay. Now we've got the levels, I'm going to put some uh, contrast in here. Okay. Um, another one, please. Saturation. But I'm actually going to choose vibrance. I prefer working with vibrance more than saturation, not selective color. Okay, and then I'm actually just going to brighten this uh, top of this blur up as well. Too much though. Keep everything else. I'm going to take that out. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to do is to sharpen. So I'm going to duplicate this blur again. Just name this blur, blur sharpen. Okay, let's go filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. And then what I'm going to do is just take it away, take away the sharpness from the areas which I've had blurred. And what this is, this is just to have the sharpest areas, the bits which I actually want sharp. And now you can see the difference there. Okay. Now the final thing I'm going to do, just because I am, it is sort of like Instagram image, is I'm going to import a, a photo frame. My photo frames I found online. I just sort of uh, googled uh, film fo film uh, film masks or film frames uh, for Adobe Photoshop. That's all I did really. I always duplicate this. I always do the one on the overlay. I'm gonna filter. And just give it a little bit of gauze and blur. Not too much. But just so it has a sort of effect of darkening the area around it. Okay. And that's pretty much, that's the image done. So there we are. And we compare this to the other one. Because here. This image is much more contrasted. It actually looks more like it could have been a, a tilt shift picture than this one. This one looks like it's just been done. There's no real contrast in the image. The actual tilt shift, I know when I took the picture, I made sure that um, it was on this card, but the actual pictures put the blur a lot hot as um, a little bit higher than I expected, but not as low as I expected, so. So that's really the final image I have here. Um, I have started using Instagram. It really has been a bit of an experiment for me. I really wasn't too keen on it before, but I thought I'd better try just the better the devil you know type situation. Um, if you are on Instagram, you can follow me uh, at Aperture64. I am also on Twitter for those of you who want to um, keep, keep up to date with what I'm doing. 
I'm on Twitter, to Twitter also at Aperture64, and with my Facebook page as well, which is Facebook forward slash pages forward slash Aperture64. On the blog on WordPress, I'm going to be posting the Instagram pictures once a week for those of you who aren't following um, me on Instagram or do not even have Instagram. I can understand why. Um, I will be posting my first impressions of Instagram. Uh, the video will be, well, won't be a video, sorry, the post will be uh, next week, most likely Tuesday, I would expect. Uh, apart from that, thank you very much for popping by and watching the video. If you're on my blog, thank you very much for viewing the page. Uh, once again, do you please please use the comments box below to let me know what you think. I always try to reply because I think it's great to actually uh, have some interaction with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good weekend. Bye-bye.